I'm Scott Thompson from Two Works For You. Here's some of today's top stories. A new interim president is named at the University of Oklahoma. After a five-hour closed-door meeting, the Board of Regents made their announcement about 2 o'clock this morning. Joseph Haraz Jr. will start immediately and stay as interim president for at least 15 months. He's the current dean of the OU College of Law and former legal counsel to former OU President David Boren. While the position is only temporary, Haraz is eligible for the permanent positions. James Gallagher announced his retirement earlier this week after serving less than a year as OU president. Oklahoma's new education budget's already getting mixed reviews just days after being agreed upon. Some educators tell Two Works For You they see two wins, the $1,200 teacher pay raise, as well as a funding increase of about $190 more per student next year. Overall, the bill gives roughly $200 million more to public education. Critics wish the money went to other school resources and support staff raises. Public Service Company of Oklahoma partners with the AEP Foundation to fund learning opportunities for FFA students, giving $25,000 to FFA chapters throughout Green Country. The money goes to STEM-related education, that's science, technology, engineering, and math. The Oklahoma FFA Foundation will accept STEM after-school grant applications applications in June. Let's get a check of the forecast with meteorologist Clint Boone. Thank you very much, Scott. Warm and windy for us this afternoon. Temperatures climbing into the upper 80s. Winds uh, out of the south about 15 to 30. Shouldn't have any type of problems heading into tonight. It's tomorrow morning when we see a round of storms, which could be severe, and also tomorrow night, another round of severe weather. Sunday, quieter weather. Lower 80s, then more storm chances. Severe weather Monday night into Tuesday, and then a break Wednesday all the way through next weekend. Thank you, Clint, and I'm Scott Thompson. Two works for you.